Minnesota Fighting Vikings nose tackle Michael Pierce was a prize for agent signing last offseason. Yeah, all, all the national media jabronis like, eh, the Vikings spent money on a nose tackle Dalvin Tomlinson. We've done it two years in a row, baby. Woo! We know where our bread is buttered. But three year, 27 million bucks was going to replace Linval Joseph, who was let go. He signed with the Chargers. But then COVID happened. And then Michael Pierce, having asthma as well as having a certain gravitational pull, opted out. Can't blame him at all uh, because no one knew what the hell was going to happen with COVID with the NFL in 2020. Uh, but he's been staying in insane shape. He's ready to rock and roll in 2021. Woo! And he provided some updates to the media jackals on Wednesday. And everything looks good. Uh, first off, he got the vaccine. He got the Pfizer. Not Johnson & Johnson. Uh, so he got both shots and he's good to go there. Hopefully... That should check the box on any lingering COVID concerns around the league. Because even though it seems like it's dissipating, still around, still hanging out. So he should be able to uh, participate in the offseason work. If players do that this offseason, uh, training camp as well as uh, the season and then the playoffs and then Super Bowl, no problem. See what I did there. Secondly, he took the performance of the 2020 Vikings personally. And it's understandable where that defense was one of the worst in the National Football League. And even though Pierce has never played it down for the Vikings as of yet, that's his team. That's his squad, and that especially the team that got run on over and over and over again, especially looking at that New Orleans Saints game on Christmas. Woo. I, I understand why Michael Pierce took that to heart, and he talked about watching Vikings games basically as a fan and then seeing plays out there that he could have made, feeling like he let his team down. But he's been grinding, keeping his weight under control. He's currently at 341. It's the lightest he's been since he came into the league out of Samford, and it's easy to see why Vikings fans are so damn hyped about this Vikings defense in 2021. Hopefully they get back to being the Zimmer Hellfire defense versus whatever the hell that was last year because he got Pierce and Daniil back from the herniated disc in his neck, plus Dalvin Tomlinson, the diesel, is coming in on the defensive interior and the progression of DJ Wanham at the opposite edge. The Vikings easily could have the best defensive line in the National Football League, and that's no cap. Absolute zero. Zero cap at all. So glad to hear that Pierce is good to go. He's a great player. He's a really fun personality, and he's easy to root for. I, I think that he will quickly become a fan favorite because you know what they should do? I need to get the Vikings Entertainment Network on the horn. We need a Michael Pierce 97 questions. Like, you can have one last one to B-Rob passing the torch. 96 questions, 97 questions. Michael Pierce would be phenomenal at that. Let's make it happen. I want to see it. For your thoughts, Michael Pierce, vaccinated, motivated, never hesitated. Woo. Uh, let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support that work? Post on in the Venmo. Until next time, Skull Production Value.